couple of days time we will be out with first reviews of the Citroen A5 A cross but till then here's a small ready reckoner of some outstanding vehicles that made Citroen great in the eyes of the global enthusiasts and there were quite a lot of them let's start first with the Citroen Traction Avant the five cars you see here this was one singular car that catapulted its maker into the public limelight thanks to being front engine and front wheel drive in a monocoque construction unique body car of course others had come with front wheel drive earlier but in a monocoque construction car Citroen was probably the first one it was also amongst the first of the mass produced cars to feature rack and pinion steering gear now this was very very important featuring a low silhouette and when it appeared in 1934 it stayed as the bedrock of Citroen models till 1957 a total of around 760,000 units were produced and sold of this great car a lot of them are still here in India as well it came with a range of four or six cylinder engines and was available in either two and four door saloon body styles there was also a two door convertible and also if you care to think about it a five door hatchback and also a panel van so there was quite a lot of flair which Citroen packed into this car what was avant-garde in the form of the traction avant was quickly distilled into utilitarian fare in the form of the 2CV by the same team who had done the Traction Avant and I am speaking about the 2CV here one of the most recognizable cars anywhere in the world the great motoring writer LGK Setright put it very very succinctly and sweetly when he described the 2CV he said and I quote the most intelligent application of minimalism ever to succeed as a car and I think it fitted the Citroen 2 CV very very well and when you think about it this was a car created in post-war Europe almost at the same time as the Volkswagen Beetle the only tragedy about this car if I may say so was that it never came to either the US as the Volkswagen Beetle did or not in the large numbers or never did it come to Asia in the large numbers like the Beetle did. The 2CV or Doshevo, two steam horses, two horsepower was what the original brief of the A-cooled twin cylinder in front wheel drive car created by Citroen in 1948. It debuted at that year's Paris Motor Show and went on to remain in production in one form or the other till 1990 often termed as an umbrella on wheels given its lightweight body it was a paragon of design and engineering with a small engine long travel suspension and an ability to tackle any surface in any given situation yet offering a very soft ride in fact there was this one exciting test created by Citroen in a cross-country dash with a great load of eggs which went the distance through unbelievable terrain and it didn't turn into an omelette by any means you must have seen this car in both day basic versions in this luxurious version a model of which I have here with his own trailer you must have seen it in James Bond movies this car lent itself quite a lot to any and every application. It was a fun vehicle which lent itself to doing so many things very very well. It was also proposed to be made in India as well in the mid 1980s by escorts. But sadly the government objections to whoever was perceived as a threat to Maruti Udyo put paid to these aspirations. Apart from the basic 2CV it was made in few more variants and put together the 2CV numbered close to above 9 million units 
which was not bad for an even more simpler version than the Volkswagen which did about 24 million odd cars. So yes, these were the cars which put the world on wheels after the Second World War. And yes, among the Citroes to appear in sizable numbers in India, not by the manufacturer but courtesy the UNICEF was the iconic Citroen H van. This is a certified classic to this day and a striking head turner as well. Like the Traction of One, it was simple. Simplicity personified both with its front engine, front wheel drive layout and monocoque construction. Monocoque construction using the folded corrugated metal treatment all around to give strength. Something which came from the Yonkers JU-52 aircraft from pre-World War II times. I think that this van even till today is such an icon and you can see it in all the switch places in the world in London, in Paris, in Rome, Berlin, wherever. And it was that one vehicle which I think epitomizes the form follows function idiom so very very well. And I can tell you that these models from my collection are just very four applications of what the Citroen H van really embodied and stood for. Let's shift track from utilitarian to something which is creme de la creme. I'm talking to you about the goddess, the ooh la la automobile that had Europeans swooning in delight when it was first shown to the public in 1955. It was designed by the duo of Flaminio Bertoni, Bertoni with an I and not Bertone with an E and Andre Lefebvre, the aerodynamicist. They designed a car which was not just evergreen in its design but it also titillated even with what was underneath its sexy skin. Of course it had traditional Citroen hallmarks of front engine, front wheel drive but then were also amongst the first series of mass produced cars to feature disc brakes and self-leveling hydro pneumatic suspension. It appeared in so many body styles just like the Traction I wanted. Saloon, Coupe, convertible, wagon, estate versions and also special conversions like this. Long wheelbase, twin uh, rear axle types. So guys, if Brabus had done the six wheel uh, G-Wagon, it was only about 30 years too late. These guys had done it much earlier. And over 1.45 million units of the DS were produced and sold globally over its two decade long lifespan and even today this is a car which seems timeless and dare I say it, Citroen has once again reincarnated the DS brand as a standalone brand for high-end executive and prestige vehicles which we'll talk about later. So there you have it. You can see the flair of the Traction Avant and the DS in the way the C5 A-Cross drives and rides. You can see the comfort and the convenience in the manner of the DS but with the capability of the 2CV especially its ride and handling over all types of terrain and you can also see the individuality of the H-Van in the way the flair and the design of the C5 A-Cross is configured. Yes, Citroen could be maybe the last of the big automotive names to have come to India but it certainly isn't wanting in its history and technology which will be seen to good effect in the aircross and also the new generation of the CQ family of cars it intends to produce here in India very very shortly. Thank you for watching this episode of Adil's AutoZone and do tune in again every week for more of the same. Stay safe, belt up and also ride safe.